El país de Bolivia tiene dos capitales de la paz y sucre. Bolivia está oeste y cerca de Peru y Brasil. Tiene muchos en exportaciones como sal de salt flats, gasolina, metales, máquinas y más. Bolivia has two capitals, La Paz and Sucre. The numbers on the clock that faces the Bolivian House of Congress go the wrong way, so they start at 12, but if you read them clockwise, they count down instead of up. The change was made in 2014 as a way to encourage Bolivians to think creatively, but at the time, many said the clock simply looked like a mistake. In La Paz, people dressed up in zebra costumes to direct traffic. According to some indigenous beliefs, animals should be buried under buildings to please Mother Nature in return for her blessings. Smaller houses just have modest little llama fetuses underneath, though bigger projects require the sacrifice of a live alpaca or, if you believe the urban legend, even a human. Lake Titicaca is located in the western part of Bolivia and the southeastern part of Peru. It sits above sea level and is the largest freshwater lake in South America. Salar de Iuni is the world's largest salt flat and one of Bolivia's most popular tourist destinations. When it rains, a thin layer of water is formed on the salt flat, created a reflective surface, and it makes it the world's largest natural mirror. The Aymara is the largest indigenous group of, in Bolivia, and they take part in the Dia de las Natitas. The Aymara devotees carry their own skulls and cabinets from the shrines in their homes to the cemetery for Dia de las Natitas. In this festival, they pray, sing, and dance through the city streets. Death Road is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Bolivia. In case the name doesn't give it away, Death Road got its name because of its high death rate. There are reports that nearly 300 people were killed on this road every year until 1994. A year later, the Inter-American Development Bank declared it the world's most dangerous road. There are no guardrails, visibility is limited, and the weather is consistently rainy along the Yungis Road, which is a recipe for hazardous conditions.